Alright guys, Dave Man Max 6 back at the Mecca and I'm really really excited to have my good friend new <laughs> IFBB Pro Amanda Machado. Last time we shot you were not a pro. Yeah, that's right. I, I think, was going to Brazil. <laughs> I think we've been doing this uh, our little uh, ritual yeah. uh, since the very beginning when you first started you're competing yeah. as an amateur and then you got your pro card and now you're about to do your first very pro first show. pro show. So I'm really glad to have you back on yeah. for the first time on J Color TV, right? Yeah, no, uh, yes. Yes. No, Brazil was Jay Cutler TV. No, I no? think it was uh, Digital Muscle. Oh, that's right. So, very first time on Jay Cutler. Okay, so, yeah, awesome. it's like the first time again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. You're in the big leagues now. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so, Amanda, you looked much, much, much improved than last time I saw you compete a year Thank ago. You. Uh, and so, you're doing the Rising Phoenix, right? Yeah, I am. Wow, that's a that's a big show. That's, that's a good a show. That's a huge show. I'm so excited, especially because it's a show that also um, has women's bodybuilding, which is so dear to me. I love uh, women's bodybuilding since I was a kid. Linda Murray, Denise Mazzino, and all yeah. those women. Now, Hella Trevino, which I just saw her yeah. a couple minutes ago. So, uh, it's just so empowering to be sharing the stage with them. And I remember when I met Hella a couple years ago, I told her my my dream is to compete that was maybe three or four years ago and uh she was about to actually step on the rising phoenix and she won that year yeah and uh now i just saw her again and we're competing on the same day the same stage uh, so it's, it's <laughs> and she remembers you telling her yes that. <laughs> yes so it's it's just awesome yeah you you're uh realizing your dreams that's awesome yeah that's right you know i i i think that's so powerful when you have that vision in your mind when I was a kid, I had a vision of living in America, studying America, um, getting my green card, getting my IFBB Pro card, and <laughs> now you know speak English because I, I barely you know spoke really? English. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, Ten years ago, I was you know hi, how are you? Yes. What's your name? Yes. Yes. It's hard to believe you speak a lot now. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I like to talk. <laughs> You speak well too. That's thank awesome. you, thank you. Yeah. So, so when you have that, you know, mindset where you can actually see already your your goal being achieved, it's not that you have to look all the way up and freak out. Oh my gosh, there are so many steps to take. You just take one step at a time, one day at a time. I think that's what a focused mind, what discipline means. You know, it's just taking one step at a time, one go at a time, laser focus and get it until it's done. So I, I want you to talk about the mindset um, that uh, you've been having, because like I said, we, we started, uh, we, made, we made each other at goals right before you did your first you know, NPC contest, which yeah. I think was the Ferrigno. Ferrigno, let right? see, uh-huh. Um, and then of course, so you prepped you know, to win that, you, you won the Excalibur, and then you went for your pro card. But you're telling me off camera that the mindset, once you become a professional, is a whole entire oh, new ball a, game. Oh, it's so different. It's <laughs> so talk so to me. Different. Talk to me about the difference between prepping for, you know, an amateur show or even getting your pro card to competing as a pro. Um, sure. Uh, when it first started, I didn't even know how bad I wanted to become a professional bodybuilder. I was just tasting the waters, kind of getting used to having a strict diet. Even though I've I've had that experience before, because my mother was very. Um, discipline when I was younger so it wasn't too hard to get in the rhythm of having some discipline back in my in my nutrition but uh, just the exercise you know on a daily basis which when you are just thinking about doing a show uh, your mind still plays you know tricks on you in a sense of like okay today I don't really feel like training I'm gonna skip today it's mm -hmm. okay or I'm really craving something different maybe like some sweets okay it's okay I'll do it now when so it, it basically is everybody can be an amateur yeah. <laughs> and, but when you become a pro it's different you feel different in a sense that you have the responsibility with yourself okay I got to this and, and it's interesting too because everybody around you uh, kind of treats you different because they see that you got it okay wow you're a pro now you won a professional show where there were a lot of people who were coming for their dream which is to become a, a professional bodybuilder and now you have it so you already have a little bit of the pressure outside mm -hmm. and then you pr have the pressure within which is like okay Especially nowadays that people say well, it's pretty easy to get your pro card compared to the you know back in the day it was a little difficult so 
listen. <laughs> <laughs> when you become a pro and you're really pro competing against the pros, you want to show to yourself that, hey, I deserve this. You know, I deserve to be here and I'm going to place top 10 or top 5 or win the show. So the pressure comes with there is no more slacking or, oh, okay, so just a little sweet here or, oh, I'm very tired, I'm going to skip the gym today. No, because you remember, you are competing against people who are laser focused to get to that goal, which is to win a pro show. It's not just t testing the waters anymore. And it's the same with my coach. When I first approached him, I said, let me just see how I'm going to feel on, on, on this thing. And now when I, I won the, the, the show in Brazil, I told him I, I'm, I'm ready. All so in. I'm all in. So that means give me all the science behind it. Give me all the ins and outs of how to be a good pro. Uh, so it's, it's so different. It's so different and it's, it feels amazing that I can actually feel proud to step on the show, step on the stage and then feel confident uh, regardless of what happens. Uh, winning or not, I, I feel ready and I feel super confident. I just didn't win another card like most people say or the bragging rights to put IFBB Pro on my Instagram. No, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like a pro. I train like one. I talk like one. Um, I will win like one or I'll lose like one. <laughs> uh, but I, I do feel like that is a before and after and it feels awesome. It feels great. Wow. You also changed big big change in your life you also change career yeah in the midst of all this so yeah. between last time that you competed and you're already thinking about it a little bit but now you actually made the jump from food and beverage which you had a very high position as an executive you know doing that that's what actually you you're went to school for yeah and you said you know what as good as i am this at my job I want to do something I'm passionate about so now you actually have a new career talk about that for a second yeah sure. the, uh, so it was a whole you know change in my career uh, when I arrived in US I started working in restaurants and I had a mentor back in the day who suggested me to study hospitality because I have a thing for customer service and food and beverage in general and uh, I went to Cal State for about four years graduated worked at the Four Seasons uh, Faith and Flower Odium did my uh, internship at the Plaza Hotel in New York so I was very deep in the hospitality business uh, until a friend of mine this year told me why don't you combine your passion for fitness and your management skills and just do what you really um, are called, called for um, and then I started kind of like you know doing my research trying to uh, find out how I could manage the fitness industry because even though I love um, uh, training myself I don't really have a lot of uh, I don't have the really the necessary expertise to be training so many people as a personal trainer and that's not really what I wanted to do uh, so I wanted to be more specific to management and this friend of mine said hey fitness fitness management it's, it's a thing it's a deal it needs a lot of customer service it needs a lot of um, management to to empower the team to be able to even empower and impact more lives uh, like we have we have a saying 24 um, help more people more often right so uh, I started about four months ago and I'm managing I managed that team as big as 26 personal trainers um, with each of them having more than 30 clients wow. and then um, now I am in mid Wilshire in which we have about 12 and we have over a hundred clients too that we are impacting lives every day our mission of course is to be growing that number we have over 11,000 members at that specific gym Wow! and uh, so the opportunities are endless to really impact people with uh, with the fitness industry and that's what I wanted to do I just don't want to be not not to take it away from people who really dedicate their lives to the stage but that's not what I really uh, want to just focus on I want to be able to pass along um, all the knowledge that I have in terms of nutrition in terms of training in terms of empowerment especially women I feel like a lot of women can be empowered because the gym is such a male predominant place and when you dominate that environment I feel like you bring that confidence everywhere else you go uh, so if it is to, I don't know, do a business deal with a bunch of men, you know, because it is a little bit of a man's world, as I said before, uh, 
I, I, I really feel like that gym can empower women to be able to carry themselves better and feel confident and love themselves, not only physically but mentally, because once you're able to accomplish that, which is uh, accomplish the body that you want, uh, um, the mindset and everything else comes along. And you're telling me also off camera that you know they're very, very supportive about you being a professional athlete and they actually embrace that uh, and yeah. encourage you yeah. you know to keep going in your in your bodybuilding career yeah. and and uh, inspire others which is really cool in yeah the it's job. really it's really cool um, everybody's counting the days for my show more than I am <laughs> they know forward. they know everything about it and I they are every day sending me messages of um, encouragement um, when I, I engage with the clients everybody it's very um, proud to say that they are you know, I'm somewhat their coach too because I am. You they're know, on managing. Amanda team. Yeah, they're on Amanda team. So they say, you know, my coach is I have to be proud. Yeah, man, that's a badge so, of honor. So yeah. it's a, it's really cool. My district manager constantly talked to me about, you know, the diet because he he he, you know, he has been in the industry for a long time too, over 20 years I think, of um, managing. He even managed Goat's Gym too before, but now he's at 24 for, for okay. several years. Mm -hmm. uh, but he also uh, encouraged me, you know, he always asking me, so is today, you know, a low carb day, a no carb day, a high carb day? So <laughs> we speak the same language. That's awesome. As for like in the restaurant is a little difficult I because, know. you know, chefs are a little difficult to deal with. I yeah. love them to death, but, yeah. uh, you know. It's always high carb day. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's always high carb day and butter is their blood, you know. so. Uh, uh, for you to say like no chef I'm not eating your food it's it's somewhat even I slap on the face so it was a little difficult for me to be uh, on prep and, and doing that job yeah. even though I do love it I, I I'm not gonna lie I, I I feel like my my best years here in US were really spent alongside with incredible talented people in the industry um, and I'm very passionate about wine too I got to know a lot about wine and history and geography through wine um, so it's 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 very dear to me. It's still very dear to me. So my very first thing that I'm gonna do after the show is a nice bottle of wine With and some a bread. nice piece of uh, <laughs> ribeye and some bread and chimichurri sauce. Uh, <laughs> I think you're hungry. <laughs> I am hungry. <laughs> I'm cranky. <laughs> Not today. And when I, I'm, every time I see you, I just have. Even though we're always just a few days away for a contest, you always have that energy and that passion and Thank that you. joy for life, Thank and you. it it comes out, it comes through on camera, and Thank it makes you. you it makes you very very appealing. I'm Thank sure you. to a lot of people, and I'm sure you'll do great. And I was telling you off camera, I said, "Do you, you realize that every single time we shot together, you won your show?" Yeah. So we're hoping that this is the trend that's going to keep going. Yes, 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 yes. Right? I hope so too. But you know what? I already feel like a winner that's because awesome. I. There were moments in this prep that I thought I was gonna give up, um, just because there were a lot of pressure that I was putting on myself, especially with the new position. So I didn't feel like it was fair for my team to have that Amanda under pressure. But then I was like, you know what? I told myself I'm gonna do the show. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. And here I am, one week out. Uh, I'm ready. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready and. Uh, I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> unfortunately, I was telling you, unfortunately, because the Olympic qualification stopped a few weeks ago, you will not be able to uh, go today to the Olympia if you if you win, but you will be qualified for next year, which is good. So you have a whole entire year to yes, prepare for the Olympia. To get ready. Yeah. To get ready. <laughs> so that's almost even better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, the punctuation too, it starts with that show. So yeah. whatever comes my way, if it's yeah. a straight ticket to the Olympia or the punctuation yeah. uh, it is what it is you know I'm, yeah. I'm ready for this and I'm very excited yeah Emma thank you so much for taking your time thank to shoot you. with us just a few days before you show you're a good sport thank you and then the best of luck and uh, I'm sure you'll look fantastic thank you so much all right thank you <laughs>